The Fleetboard vehicle computer is the heart of the system and available in two sizes. Here, Fleetboard Pure and the larger model Pro. With the Pro model, the dispatcher can also access the vehicle's telematic data. The Dispo Pilot can be connected to both models. The cable harness comes with the part set, as well as the installation frame. In certain vehicles with the model code EX3, it may be necessary to change a plug for the link with the vehicle telematics. The corresponding plugs and pins are ordered separately. In current vehicles with the code EX3, the cable harnesses is already installed. You only need to link up to the unit. In vehicles without this, you can retrofit the cables yourself. We start with the faceplate in the installation shaft. Here the cable connection is already installed for the telematics and power supply. Open the stowage compartments. Then lever out the plastic strip. Do the same on the other side. Now in the middle stowage compartment, unscrew all 12 screws. In the stowage compartment, remove another two screws. Then take out the light. And you can remove the stowage compartment. Pay attention to the plug connection. On the right side, remove the speaker cover. Afterwards, take off the A-pillar trim. To do this, loosen the rubber door seal a bit. Now we lay the cable. Start in the middle and put one end in the installation shaft. Move the other end towards the A-pillar. Lay the cable behind the right stowage compartment and pull it out through the installation shaft of the loudspeaker. From here move the cable down the A-pillar and fasten it to the cable harness. In models with the code EX3, exchange the white plug for a new one. Cut each cable individually. Before doing so, don't forget to disconnect the battery. Then with a wire stripper, strip the ends of the cables. Fasten the pins with a pair of crimping pliers. Connect the pins in the plug. The individual cable sequence can be gained from the Fleetboard technical support. Now install the bracket and lay the cables in the shaft. Secure the bracket by bending the metal nibs. Now we move to the unit itself. To communicate, Fleetboard requires a SIM card. 
You receive this card from technical support. Now connect the last cables and install Fleetboard. Done. The computer is in its place. Bring back all the trim parts into their places and tuck the cables behind the trim. To start Fleetboard, print out the activation form. You'll find this form in Vis Azra. Sign and fax the form to the stated number. As soon as the unit is activated, Fleetboard gets to work. If you've installed Fleetboard Pro, the telematics connection must still be activated. We'll show you how to do this too on Akubus Direct.